Okay, first, when it comes to creating your own materials, I know some people um, like to create their own materials, but I feel like learning this first, uh, it, it'll be very helpful, and actually it may be more convenient than you trying to create a material. Um, unless you just do this as a hobby, like I totally understand if you do this as a hobby and you just like to create your own materials, I've created materials in Thea Studio, so that is that option, but first I, I have to show this option because, I mean, this is an option that I use a lot, um, for instance, let me just show you this, so uh, let me go ahead and stop this render here, uh, we'll stop it right here, this is the process I go through and this is what I do so once I get that approval yes this is what we want to see in our rendering and the drawing we want to see how it's going to look so this is the process I go through so what I'll do first thing you do um, if you let's say that maybe they'll email it to you but let's just search like SketchUp textures um, floor right and I have some downloaded already but let's just and you just go to images, right? Let's say you determine, you know, your your client wants this type of this flooring, right, on their and and their uh and their rendering. They want this look. Can you can you show us this? Instead of you know jumping into the studio and trying to figure out how to create this or even modeling modeling it out or just going to sketch up uh 3d models and trying to find this floor and just plop it in there here's a good way so you just right click save picture as right so as long as you have SketchUp pro you go over to file and import this this jpeg and let's go ahead and do this one all right so um, let's go ahead and plop this one here and it's going to ask you to scale it or whatever. Let's just throw it on there like that and let's explode this puppy and he's going to blend. He's going to want to blend in. Uh, let's go ahead and group it. Um, let's go ahead and bring this up a little bit. All right. So. Okay, so as most of you should know, SketchUp has this tool right here where you can match match a property, right? So in here, we can just match this texture. Now you see over here, just like in SketchUp, I'm sure a lot of you have done this. You have your tile now. You have it. You have it in here. You can just apply it like so, right? Now this is not it, you know. You say okay uh, let's go ahead and reverse face here okay so let's go ahead and get rid of this puppy here we don't need it anymore so just like we all know in SketchUp you could still edit here you could still adjust the sizes you know if you want to make it bigger it'll grow there I like that size you can change colors whatever right so in Thea, what you can do, let's say, because actually for this project, I remember the client wanted this type. It wasn't even this stone, but it was a type of stone. But they wanted, they liked the look of this stone, but they wanted a polish. There will be a, there was going to be a coat of uh, this, this polish on top of it. So just like in the previous uh, marble that we had and it had the reflection and it this needed a reflection and it needed to show that it was going to have that pop that, that polish so let's go ahead and let's uh all right so what you can do is this thea tool here click it there whatever material whatever material you want to edit just double click it so I double click that floor, right? So you have these options here. So I, again, we want that reflection, right? So you see it's set to zero and it has this dull shape and it looks, it looks good. And this would be a nice floor, but you know, imagine trying to sweep it or anything like it'll be kind of, kind of annoying. But anyway, um, let's go ahead and bump this puppy up to 85 and let's see what happens. 
see how it gives you that nice shine and you can and it has and some of you may have seen floors like this where it's it's uh like a coat of polish on top of that original stone and it gives a really nice look but if you try to bump up the roughness uh you could you could you could bump this up to like 185 right but if you bump up the roughness it's going to take away some of that reflection but you could still see it a little bit but let's turn it down a little bit more let's go to 20 you know you still get, you get some reflection that's a nice look there i really like this um but uh if you really want that nice shine there you know set it to zero um, and you can go into the editor so that was the preset you can go into editor and you can do the same things you can manipulate the colors and things like that and and like say if i manipulate this reflectance color right so if you look here you see the reflectance let's set it to like green that reflectance is like green you know you could do you know whatever look you're going for really um let's bring this back down here um you know again that roughness is still here yeah so it, it it's just easier to to do it this way if especially if you're dealing with with a client you know you're getting paid for your work and they want to see what they want to see right um to save yourself some time you know import a jpeg um and and, and you can get a nice rendering you know let's 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 uh go back to our scene and let's see if this is the this is the floor they want they want to see this floor with a polish and you know these wood steps and this this wood piece here and let's get like you know get a quick rendering here just to get it out is this the look you're going for do you like this flooring maybe they'll say you know what i don't like the flooring i don't think it'll match well with this wood let's change the wood or um, let's do something else differently. Like, you know, it's it's a way to get things done a lot quicker and a lot easier and to save you time. But if you want to get into creating your own materials and say you just want to create this stone yourself, you want to use different colors and, and, and manipulate the bumps and all that stuff, I'll show you that in the next video. I'd like to direct you to a website, gates3designs.net. So if you're interested in downloading any of the models I created to create my renderings you can come here and under SketchUp models you can find a lot of the models that I use for my YouTube videos if you notice when I start my models it's in a blank canvas form and you can download that form that that blank canvas form here and take a stab at creating your own renderings whether it's their render or uh, Lumion or whatever you want to use um, through SketchUp you have models here that you could use if you'd like to. A lot of my models um, I create in Revit, so I'm also uploading a lot of the Revit files that I use to create these models. So if you want to take a stab at learning Revit or using Revit, you can download those files here also.